informed there'll be another attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. <laughs> what would you do if you knew you had less than eight minutes to live? I'd make those seconds count. I want to go back in. I'm going to save her. You can't. doesn't work that way. Christina is dead. She doesn't have to be. <laughs> You cannot alter this reality while inside the source code. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm Mike. And Jay couldn't make it, so instead we decided to bring Jake to the home. Finally, for this movie, he decided to put his shirt back on. <laughs> so today we're reviewing Source Code. An excellent film, and uh, the story is, his character is named Captain Coulter Stevens, and he wakes up on a train without any knowledge how he got there. And then, it's like Groundhog Day. So he is a soldier that wakes up in the body of someone else. So the whole first part, he's like, just trying to figure out what's going on. Why his reflection is different. Who is this woman who's talking to him? Like, they're friends. And then he discovers that he is part of this mission to stop a bomber from hurting this commuter train and then also a devastating second bomb that'll be even worse. And what really blows my mind about that film is that the bomb has already happened. So it's not quite time travel, but it kind of is. The objective is to, for him to find the bomber, and there's no way he could stop the bomb because it's already happened, which is yeah. acid out of the brain. Yeah, so he has to relive these last eight minutes of this man's life again and again and again to try and figure out what happened. He needs to figure out where this bomb is, he needs to potentially disarm it, he needs to find who the bomber is so that he can stop this other catastrophe from happening. And they have a lot of fun with it. Like, he becomes basically a know-it-all because he's seen the same scenario happen over and over again. Like someone spills, spills coffee on him so he avoids it every time now. And, and it gets to the point where you're like, yeah, 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 I get it. And they actually just fast forward through it and they skip the part and then they get to the difference, which is amazing too. So it's amazing yeah. that they can keep your attention. Like you, you would think seeing the same eight minutes again and again that it would get really boring. Yeah. It does not. It does you are not. into it the entire time. The whole movie I was like, wow. And then also how they explain What's happening in the real world, like how he's able to go back in these eight minutes, is really interesting. His backstory, where his body really is, etc., etc. And there's a lot of twists and turns that we can't tell you, or else we just ruin the movie for you. It's not exactly what you think, and that's what makes it amazing, this film. And the director is Duncan Jones, baby Bowie, again, the guy who did Moon, he's back, and he did a great job. He's one of my new favorite directors, yeah. for sure. He's proven his worth, for sure. Michelle Monaghan, she was in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and... Every film I see her in, I just absolutely fall in love with her. So beautiful. Eagle Eye. And she did a fantastic job as well. Vera Faminga is in it as well, and she's pretty hot too. Her eyes are so beautiful on her lips, and she's good in this. Basically, who's giving Jake Gyllenhaal his mission? What I didn't like about this film is, and I can't really be specific, is I didn't like the ending. It was a typical... Yeah, uh, but it wraps everything up nicely. It does, yeah, it does wrap everything up nicely. I think that was my problem a little bit too. It's one of those films where you're like, I wish it ended here. It didn't. It kept going. So that's my only complaint. But overall, it's a fantastic film. Also, Russell Peters is in it. He's all right in it. I don't know. It's he's a good guy. He's a, he's a good guy. We went. We did lunch. Yeah, I mean, he plays a comedian, so it's not really a stretch. He's funny enough in it. Yeah, he's funny enough. He's funny yeah. enough. A lot of this movie was filmed in Montreal. Yes, Canada. Yes. We did it. We did it again. We got you. Overall, Scar is an excellent film. Like. I would recommend it to anyone, but I give this a solid 9 out of 10. I totally agree. 9 out of 10, for sure. Great movie, really well written. The special effects were great, like all the fire and explosions and whatnot. Beautiful, great acting. Really interesting story. You were never checking your watch, like wondering when this is going to be over or anything. You were just like totally into the movie the whole time. It's yeah. great. I was on the edge of my seat. I think we should go find Jay now. Next week. Yeah, I think we probably do need Jake back. Jay back. Jake, oops. <laughs> Sci-fi action you thriller could probably explain it more, way more than I can. That was terrible. So there's like alternate mind. realities happening here, going back in the past. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a little windy out here. We apologize for the sound. We apologize. Yeah. We're in downtown Toronto on the mezzanine level. 